What's up, everyone? Have you been feeling extra tired lately? Maybe your memory is fuzzy or you've noticed some numbness or tingling in your hands and feet. Well, you might have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Vitamin B12 is crucial for our health, especially for proper nerve and brain function. But many people are low in this key nutrient without even realizing it. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about vitamin B12. What it does, symptoms of deficiency, why it's so common these days, and how to make sure you're getting enough. So grab a pen and paper to jot down some notes, because by the end of this video, you'll be a vitamin B12 expert. All right, let's dive in. Vitamin B12 is part of the B-complex family of vitamins. It goes by a few different names, cobalamins, methylcobalamin, cyanocobalamin, but they all refer to the same essential nutrient. B12's main job in the body is to help make DNA and nerve tissue. It's needed to produce myelin, the fatty sheath that covers and protects our neurons. Myelin acts like the plastic insulation on electrical wires. It prevents signals from leaking out and allows them to transmit quickly down the nerve cell. Without enough vitamin B12, myelin can't be made properly. And that's when we start to see problems like numbness, tingling, and nerve damage. B12 is also used to produce red blood cells in the bone marrow. When levels run low, it can lead to a specific type of anemia called pernicious anemia. So in summary, vitamin B12 keeps our nerves healthy and blood cells happy. Now let's talk about symptoms of deficiency. The most common early signs are fatigue and weakness, memory loss or cognitive decline, numbness and tingling in hands and feet, poor balance and coordination, depression, irritability, mood changes, vision problems like blurred or double vision. If deficiency continues unchecked, it can progress to spinal cord degeneration, paralysis, psychosis and hallucinations, nerve damage that may become permanent. Yikes! As you can see, low vitamin B12 is no joke. It can seriously impact our nervous system and lead to some scary neurological symptoms. So who's most at risk for deficiency? Vegans and vegetarians are the most likely groups since B12 is found mostly in animal foods. The elderly are also susceptible due to reduced stomach acid secretion. Other high-risk groups include those with digestive disorders like Crohn's or celiac disease, patients who've had weight loss surgery or part of the stomach's intestines removed, people taking acid-blocking medications long-term, those with diabetes especially if taking metformin, heavy drinkers, breastfed infants of vegetarian vegan mothers. But even meat eaters can become deficient in B12 since absorption decreases with age. Studies estimate anywhere from 2 to 20% of the general population may have inadequate blood levels. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I know if I'm deficient? The most definitive way is to get a blood test. B12 levels below 200 picograms per milliliter indicate a clear deficiency. Borderline deficiency is considered between 200 to 350 picograms per milliliter. If your levels fall in the low or borderline range, the next step is getting your deficiency corrected as soon as possible. Here are some treatment options. B12 supplements can be taken as pills, sublingual tablets, nasal spray, or injections. Not all B12 supplements are created equal. Some are more effective at doing the job than others. We're suggesting on your screen right now and also in the description of this video, the best B12 supplements we know. They can help you maintain adequate levels of this important vitamin in your body. Fortified foods, cereals, plant-based milks, nutritional yeast, dietary changes, eating more B12-rich foods like meat, eggs, dairy. For mild deficiency, high-dose oral supplements or fortified foods may be enough to restore levels. But if your deficiency is severe or you have absorption issues, B12 injections will work much faster. Shots allow the vitamin to enter the bloodstream directly, bypassing the digestive tract. Most people need one injection per week for one to two months to replenish stores. After that, monthly maintenance shots help keep levels optimized. Now let's talk about how to prevent deficiency in the first place through your diet. Animal foods are the best source of B12 since they actually produce it internally. The top dietary sources are liver and other organ meats, shellfish, clams, oysters, mussels, fish, salmon, tuna, trout, mackerel, red meat, eggs and dairy products, fortified foods, cereals, plant milks. Aim for at least two to three servings per day of these B12 containing foods. If you follow a vegetarian diet, you'll need to be diligent about including eggs, dairy, and fortified foods regularly. And for vegans, supplementation is absolutely essential since plant foods have zero B12. 
apart from what's added via fortification. Algae and seaweed do contain vitamin B12 analogs, but these forms are not bioavailable to humans. Fermented foods like kombucha are also unreliable sources of active B12. So in summary, animal foods and fortified items are the only reliable ways to meet our vitamin B12 needs. But there are a few other tips to maximize absorption. Take supplements with food to enhance uptake. Choose sublingual or liquid forms rather than pills. If taking high-dose supplements, spread into two to three smaller doses. Get enough stomach acid. Try apple cider vinegar with meals. Treat digestive conditions that impair absorption. All right, friends, we covered a ton of ground today. Let's do a quick recap. Vitamin B12 is essential for nerve health and red blood cell formation. Deficiency can cause neurological symptoms like numbness, vision changes, and memory loss. Vegans, vegetarians, the elderly, and those with digestive issues are most at risk. Blood tests confirm deficiency, defined as levels below 200 picograms per milliliter. Treatment involves high-dose supplements, fortified foods, dietary adjustments, and or B12 injections. Consume two to three servings of B12-rich animal foods daily to maintain healthy levels. So be sure to monitor your intake and get tested if you suspect you might be low. Catching and correcting deficiency early is crucial to avoid permanent nerve damage. All right, folks, that wraps up this B12 breakdown. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Let me know if you have any other vitamin topics you want me to cover in future videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a new upload. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.